If you guys are looking to buy any FIFA 18 coins, make sure you go and check out fifacoin.com. Their link will be down in the description below. Use Jack at checkout for 5% off. They're an instant delivery service, guys, so click the link. What's up, guys, and welcome to today's Squad Builder. We have got a Team of the Week hybrid Squad Builder for you. I've chosen a few players from this week's Team of the Week because I absolutely love it, um, and added them into a team in the 4-3-1-2 formation, and I've built a hybrid around it, and hopefully you guys are going to enjoy it. I think it's a really nice-looking team, and I think it can do the business up against some teams which are kind of like full of like probably like BPL players and just OP players in general. Um... I am a massive preacher on FIFA of not using the like average, like normal cards which everybody else uses. I hate using them cards. Like I want to go ahead and use cards which not many people use. Ones which you know just get kind of like looked over or on uh, in the team of the week or just don't get used as much as they really should do. Um, and that is the way you find hidden, hidden gems. And I found many hidden gem in FIFA 18. So today we've built a FIFA 8, well, uh, we built a hybrid squad builder around, yeah, a couple of the Team of the Week forms I kind of liked. And um, yeah, we're going to try them out. And hopefully you guys like the team as well. It's actually about 500k to 600k hybrid. There's some high rated in forms in there as well. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So in goal, we have got the first man. It is going to be Sirigu. He's been around the block. Uh, the past couple of years, he's been at PSG. So I think I'm not too. It's not Sevilla. It's, I think it might have been Osasuna. I don't know. Somewhere in La Liga. I don't know if Osasuna was still in La Liga or they went down. I'm not too sure. But yeah, some club in La Liga. Um, he went to and now he's at Torino. So yeah, I mean, he's been around the block. But I think he's been doing pretty well at Torino because obviously he's had a few informed for them um, and he's got a very nice looking card as well so it's going to be interesting to see how well he can do for us in the net he cost me 27,000 coins so we're going to move on to the first centre back then we have got a, well a strong link for him and that is going to be in Kulu he is the first player from this week's team of the week so he's got 76 pace 84 defending and 81 physical a very nice card indeed and he's also what you could argue as on FIFA a ball playing centre back so he's got 71 passing a lot of centre backs in this game really do not have good passing at all so it's always nice to be able to play a pass out of the out the back um, and try and not just launch it upfield and you know get rid of it so um yeah that should be pretty useful and to actually prove that this card is probably quite good for the price that you pay um i paid what thirteen thousand coins we're going to compare him to the next center back that i've got and that is going to be sergio ramos so we're going to compare the stats quickly Nkulu has better dribbling, he's got the same amount of passing, he's got the same amount of pace, he's got four less defending and two less physical. For literally a 15th of the price, that is very, very good value indeed. So if you want a solid centre back um, that's worth like 13k and you want, you know, to kind of like be able to oh well, get more for your money, Nkulu I personally think is going to be the man for you. Um, so we're going to move into the right back now. We have got Juan Fran. Had a few choices that I could have used. Could have used Roberto, could have used Mara Gaspar, DeMarcus, but I've gone with Juan Fran, uh, just the more solid option of the of the lot. He's got better defending as well, so uh, for me, he's the card to choose. Left back then, uh, we are going to go for, as you can see, Kolarov now. I've actually put an anchor chem style on him because obviously he doesn't have much pace. He's only got 71. But he does have very good offensive and physical stats, and obviously he can play a great pass as well. Um, a lot of people will just like shy away from using Kolarov because of his lack of pace. I don't really feel like that's a massive issue um, personally, uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm hope, hopefully going to be able to prove that to you guys in this game as well. Um, but yeah, I rate him as a left back. I think he's very, very solid indeed. Um, so let's move into the midfield then. The first player is going to be the in form, and that is going to be, well, I'm not even going to try and pronounce his name. I'm going to call him Adam. Uh, because that is his first name, but I'm not going to pronounce his second name. This guy is actually a left winger, but his uh, in form was a converted to a centre mid. I haven't actually moved him from like a striker to a centre mid. This is legit his position for his in form. Um, so before I get people saying, oh, he's a left winger and you're playing him centre mid, I'm not. This is genuinely the position that he got put uh out as an inform. Um, so yeah, he's obviously not going to do that much defensive duties. He's in the midfield trio, but I'm hoping he's going to give a bit more of an attacking threat than he is defensive. And we've got a few other players in this midfield, which I think are going to be doing that defensive job for me. So the first one is going to be Luka Modric, as you can see. What a player, what a man. He's just fantastic in this game and uh, yeah, real, real joy to play with. And uh, to partner him up, we've got the perfect link, Kovacic. 
uh, who did, uh, or Kovacic, that's probably, yeah, that's more more the pronunciation, I think. Uh, but yeah, he was linked with Liverpool, uh, I think, last summer. He's been with, linked with Liverpool quite a lot. Um, and I think that was like, almost back to when Arsenal signed Sh Sanchez. It was around that time, I think. Um, and then we got re-linked with him again, I think, in the summer a little bit. But um, yeah, he's obviously chosen Real Madrid. I don't think he gets as much game time, um, but when you're playing for Real Madrid, I suppose some things are more appealing to other people. I personally would want to play on a team which would play 90 minutes most games, um, if it was me. But yeah, I mean, he's a great player. I've seen him play a couple of times on, on, on the telly, and yeah, he's genuinely a very, very good player. So I'm hoping that can uh, bounce off into FIFA Ultimate Team. So we're going to move into the cam now. We have got Jesse Lingard, the man of the moment for United, uh, just doing absolute bits for them. Like, this guy, I personally think, is their best player at the moment. I don't care about Pogba, whatever, Lukaku, Ibra. This guy is just fantastic. Um, I'm not saying, like, I'm, I'm saying, in like, he's the best player in form for United. I'm not saying, like, he's better than Pogba, because I don't actually think he is, but I'm just saying, at the moment, I think he's United's best player. Um, so, before we get any comments, saying that I'm saying Lingard's better than Pogba. I don't think he is. Um, but yeah, he's a great player. And look, on this on this game, for an 82 rated card, 88 pace, 80 shooting, 78 passing, 88 dribbling, 74 physical, that is very decent indeed. So, left striker, we've got Zlatan Ibrahimovic, of course. I mean, this guy's just a god. 65 pace is pretty annoying because he's, you know, we've seen buses move faster than him. But genuinely, um, I think he can do bits up top, especially with Lingard. And then we have got Daniel Sturridge's Scream card as well, um, which is going to finish off the team. So, we're obviously with the bench that we've got, it's an 88 rated team, but I think it's around an 85 rated team, 86, something like that without them. Um, so, I think that looks pretty nice if you ask me. Some high rated cards in there, um, some real good players as well, and you know, kind of players in there which not a lot of people really use. I know there's lots of Ramos, Modric, which probably a lot of people use, um, and Ibra potentially, but Sturridge, I don't see many people using Sturridge. Lingard, I haven't seen many people using Lingard. Um, and that whole back line, apart from Ramos, I don't see many people using, maybe apart from Juan Fran. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, dive into a game now. Let me know what you guys think of the team in the comment section below. What would you have bought for uh, the same price? Would you have bought like a full-on BPL team or something like that? Fair play. If you're going to go into the Weekend League, I wouldn't advise this for Weekend League, this team for Weekend League. But if you're just looking for a bit of fun on FIFA, going through divisions, by all means, use this team. It's a lot more fun than using a straight-up BPL or Bundesliga or League 1 team. Um, it really is. So yeah, let's dive into a match and see how well this team can play. Right, so this is the team that we have come up against. The okay, K. So wow, uh, he's got Footmas, Danny Rose. He's got 90 Ferdinand, um, and he's got a very nice looking team actually. Bakayoko, De Gea, Mustafi, Lacazette, Arnautovic, the new team of the week one, uh, Ibra. So yeah, it's going to be a tough game, but I'm confident with my team. I think we can beat him. Let's just see how well this team can play. Let's do it. Oh, wow. It's going to be a goal. Okay. Well, that's really convenient, isn't it? Go on, here we go. Finish. No, Juan Fran, man. That should have been a goal. Should have been able to get on the score sheet there. Oh, here we go. Finish. Yes, Ibrahimovic. So, Ibra's actually scored for both of us now. Um... Yeah, nice bit of play. I don't know what happened off the ball with Lingard and whoever was trying to defend. I think it might have been Moy. But, um, yeah, that definitely helped me a lot. I don't know if it's going to show that on the replay. We'll have to see and find out. Um, but, yeah, I'm quite grateful for that. I'm not going not gonna to lie. Oh, no, it's, sorry. It wasn't Ibra that scored the, uh, the goal. It was Arnautovic. What am I thinking? I don't know why I thought it was Ibra. I do apologise. That was stupid of me. Go on. Finish. I cannot believe De Gea has saved that. What? Are you kidding me? Are you actually kidding me? Oh my god, I can't believe that. I cannot believe he saved that. Oh, finish. Finish. There we go. That's a goal. Yes, yeah, goal. Lingard's got his first goal. It's 2 1. 2. Uh, to us and um, yeah I mean we deserved that we had two insane chances don't know how the first one didn't go in incredible save from De Gea but we're now back in front 2-1 um, I think we can move on from here I just need to make sure I don't make any defensive mistakes and uh, yeah look at this nice little ball from uh, it's a bit, of an, a bit of a shame that 
Sturridge is so one footed because I would have used my, his right foot there, but you know, with Sturridge, you've got to use his left, otherwise, it's just going to go nowhere. Um, but yeah, decent now. Very decent. I was a little bit worried about after that first. Um, oh, wow. Okay, that bit of skill from Lacazette I was not expecting in the slightest. Wow, what a save from Sirigu. That was going in as well. That was a very nice long shot. Get us out. Wow. Well, that's what you expect with Zatan Ibrahimovic, isn't it? Seriously, but we should not be getting beat at the near post there. What a goal, man. That is typical Zlatan. Typical Zlatan. He has been kind of like all over me since I got that second goal, and I think it's just the way that FIFA works nowadays, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I mean, we'll have to sort this out. Come on. Go on. Here we are. Juan Fran, finish that now. Yes, there we go. 3 2, just before half time. Hopefully, we can hold this now. Because we can't, haven't been able to hold a lead at the minute. Um, but yeah, hopefully, we can just before half time. Because that will give us a great boost going into the second half. What a finish from Juan Fran. He's had a couple of opportunities like that as well. Could be arguably poor, poor goalkeeping from uh, De Gea. But he's made some great saves in this game so far. So you can hardly fault him. Sturridge. Oh, he's a beast. He's a beast. Look at that. That was just such great dribbling. Faked as if I was going to the left or to the right and then turn round, bang, straight finish. Again, De Gea could potentially have done better, but he's incredible. I love Sturridge. He missed a few sitters, to be fair, in the first half, but uh, well, at the start of the game, but now he's just absolutely destroying the defence, which is hopefully well, what is it, what's to be expected. So yeah, as you can see, they're the half-time stats. 11 shots, 9 on target, 58% possession, 90% pass accuracy. I'd be pretty gutted if I wasn't in the front right now. Uh, we've been pretty much destroying him uh, ever since that guy got there, well, since he got the goal at the very start of the game. So hopefully we can carry on and uh, yeah, we can bag the win. Go on. Oh, great header from Ramos, but couldn't convert. Go on, look at that ball. Lingard! For th that is his second. 5-2. Lingard's a great player, and the run that he made through that defence, just doing one-twos with our players, was absolutely, absolutely quality. De Gea had ab absolutely no chance as well. What a finish as well. Absolutely zero chance. I think we, we're going to get a rage quit here. Yeah, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. We've got to wait, rage quit. So, that is going to be the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy it, then please be sure to drop a like. That'd be absolutely amazing. Subscribe if you guys are new around here. Tomorrow, I should have a seven-minute score build-out build out for you. And, uh, yeah, it should be a good one. So, catch you guys next time. Peace.